So for today, we're going to be going through the Iron Companion set for the Warlocks. Titans and Hunters, you guys already have your video right here. So if you guys want to check them out, obviously do so. Uh, some of my favorite sets are in some of these, uh, specifically for the Hunter and Titan. Uh, some of them are super, super dope. So if you guys want to have some inspiration or just get some of these sets, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you guys want to see the armor review of the Iron Companion video, it is right here. We go through how the armor looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it, and some uh, tips and tricks and whatnot that I noticed about the armor itself. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it, but let's get into it. So unfortunately, Warlocks, you guys will only have three sets because the bond, as cool as it is, it's, it glows like I really don't have to do an armor set around that because you can just make a set that has a lot of glows, which is super cool. But I also didn't want to go too hard with it because it, at the end of the day, it's just a bond. And I don't really see the necessity to make a whole set around one bond. That being said, if the bond is super, super crazy looking or very unique looking, then maybe. But again, this one just glows. So you can just put that with any other piece that glows. Uh, for the boots, I unfortunately think they're a little too boring to make a whole set with. Don't get me wrong. It does. It does look cool. But at the same time, I just don't think it's cool enough to warrant me making a whole fucking video on it. So, yeah, you, you're going to be looking at the helmet, the arms and the chest piece. Those are the three we're going to be looking at because I think those three have the biggest potential for sets. So for the first set, we're going to be looking at the Iron Companion Hood for the arms contender gloves. Uh, easy choice when you combine it with Vesper Radius uh, for the boots, Dendrite Shimmer Boots. Uh, I wouldn't say it was an easy choice. It was just a choice that I did. I'll, I'll explain why in a bit. And then for the Bond Dragonfly Regalia Bond, just because it this set, it, okay, let me explain a few things. A, the chest piece is super dope. It's one of my favorite looking exotics. It's just the fact that any bond you put on it is going to be covered by that pauldron right there. So that's why I'm using Dragonfly Regalia because A, I don't really care for it and I didn't want to use the rope one that I always use. So I decided to use the Regalia just because it's fine looking. Uh, the reason I'm using the Vesper of Radius is because it doesn't make my helmet bigger than my chest piece. And what I mean by that is the helmet has spe uh, specifically for women or females. I don't know about male Titan or Warlocks, but for female Warlocks, uh, if you don't choose the right chest piece for it, you're going to look like a big head with a small body. And it's unfortunate because this is like one of the cooler helmets that the Warlocks have. Just be aware that just have a big collar. That's that's really the easiest thing you can do for the arms. Queen's colors for the contender gloves is an easy choice. But so that way I can match the navy on the stalwart tenant for the boots dendrite shimmer boots is an easy choice just because uh, a lot of the design in the boots goes really well with the vesper of radius uh so yeah that, those are my thought process when i went into this because i wanted to have something with a big collar which is why i'm using the exotic but then i needed to do something nothing too crazy for the bond because again a lot of it is covered by that pauldron which is why i went with dragonfly regalia and then for the shader i actually really did want to go with stalwart uh tenant just because i really like the shader also be aware we are going to be reviewing the playlist shaders just because a lot of them are really cool and one of them's pretty trash and we will i will go hard on it so as for the arms we're going to be using the iron companion gloves obviously and this one is a little bit of a cop out because this is a set that i took from this video, if you guys haven't seen this one, it's from the Tex Mechanica inspired set video, which is basically this, but for the Tex Mechanic armor set. So if you guys haven't seen it, obviously watch it. A lot of them are really cool, but for this one, it's a cop out. But at the same time, I think the arms go really well with a cowboy theme look because there's a lot of leather to it. The only unfortunate part is there is a little bit of chainmail on the wrist, at like the top of the wrist. So I would probably advise something like a darker shader so that way you get you guys can like block out the chain mill so that it doesn't show up because the leather portions look so good with a cowboy look. So I'm not going to go through this one too much just because I have made I did post this in another video. But for the helmet, uh, the Tex Mechanica Moss Custom Hat is an easy choice. The intre Intrepid Inquir Inquiry Robes, the Intrepid Inquiry Robes was an easy choice. I'll explain why in a bit. The Wrath Trail boots, also super dope. And then the Coronation Bond, which is, let me explain why. So my thought process when I went, to, went into this was not so much a cowboy look, more so like 
an archaeologist type feel because for me the intrepid inquiry robes uh in combination with the coronation bun gives me a sense of like almost like a scholarly uh cowboy i guess you would say i don't know something along those lines which is why like for me uh an archaeologist came to mind because it kind of reminds me of, like indiana jones type shit uh this one was a super fun one to make because i was just like my imagination was going wild with it and the boots uh wrath trail boots is really good for this because it just kind of completes the whole scent don't get me wrong you can use the wrath trail boots with the wrath trail robes i think that's a much better set if you want to go for like an authentic cowboy look but it's also cool because i don't think the same rule applies to warlocks that the rule applies to titans and hunters which is if you use the chest the same chest piece with the same boots then it look kind of looks like you're in the same set i don't think that rule applies to warlocks because the uh, the rule that applies to them is if you use the same helmet with the same chest piece then it feels like you're wearing the same set so it's kind of i don't know it's really weird how my rules are in my head but that's how they just are so again if you guys want to go for a little bit more of a cowboy look then just switch out the intrepid inquiry robes with the wrath trail robes and it's gonna look good the crucible red jack let me talk about this real quick the reason i'm using crucible crucible red jack is because i didn't want a super black look for this because a the outline on the robes the brown doesn't change color so you're gonna be stuck with that so i just decided let me just have some red in there because i i want to have some color in here but i also want the main robes to be dark so i just want a color that will be taken for the uh for the like under undershirt so that's really what i went for so warlocks let me know what you guys think i do apologize this one is kind of a cop out but i do think if you want to go for a cowboy look the iron companions are going to be really good for this just be aware that you're going to have to shader it a little bit darker than everything else because the chainmail just kind of throws it off last but not least we have the chest piece which i ended up going for a classic fell winter look which is kind of funny because i'm using the fell winter's helm which i'm going for a fell winter like cosplay thing so obviously i'm going to use the helmet for the arms imperial cartographer gloves is a neat choice just because uh, i wanted something bulky for the arms uh just because like there's no reason i just wanted something bulkier because the whole chest piece looks so big that having something small would just look really weird for the chest piece obviously iron companion vestments uh just i have to use them for the boots this is where it's funny you can use literally any boots it does not matter because you will not be able to see them half the time so boots really does not matter but i ended up using boots of the carmorant blade just because they are a little bit thicker and when the few times that you'll actually be able to see it you're going to be seeing like oh shit he's actually like he's packing like dudes are fucking that's a lot of armor and then for the bond like him bond was an easy, easy choice just because i don't want any any glowy bits in this set I, like at all and i do think the uh like him bond fits the aesthetic of what i'm going for so yeah this one's definitely fun for these shaders let me explain this real quick iron fush fush site I, I fucking hate this name but the iron fuss site the reason i'm using that is because it gives uh all of the helmet a green if you guys don't know that like plate at the top of the helmet actually changes color so you just have to be aware that that one will change to a color that you might not like which is why i'm using iron fuss site because it changes everything to green for gambit Siladin, i ended up going for the arms because i i wanted green on there the under part is camo but most of the time you won't be able to see it so it doesn't bug me personally uh iron foot sight for the chest piece again but more so because the sides have that pleated look but the but the front has like this brown which i really really like that's why i'm using that and then uh gambit Siladin for the boots really doesn't matter considering you can't see them but there it is and then gambit jade stone so that way i can get a little bit of a more brighter green so Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I do apologize that it's only three sets for you guys, but to be quite honest, you guys know that the boots and the bond are usually not the greatest. I would even go so far as to say the arms usually are not that great either. Unfortunately for Warlocks, and I've said this in multiple videos, uh, if the Warlocks retained the ability to have the pauldrons connected to their arms, I think, I think Warlocks would have a much better fashion game because back in D1, depending on what arms you use actually uh depending on or if you use like for example if you ended up using the iron companion gloves you would actually have the iron companion pauldrons 
because it was connected to the pole. It was the whole arm, not just your forearm. It was the whole arm. So unfortunately, I really do hope Bungie goes back to that format just because it's better. But at the same time, I do I do see why they didn't because there's some pieces that like would not look good if the whole arm was incorporated into it. So I do understand. I don't know. It's hard to really like explain, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We will be looking through some, some other stuff in the future. Uh, specifically, we're going to be looking at the playlist shaders. I said this in previous videos, but I am working on that. And I'm literally going to go do the audio right now after I'm done with this video. We're going to be looking at the Iron Banner shader. Iron Banner should be done by now by the time this video is up. So we're going to be looking at the shader. Don't worry, you have one more week to get that shader. I do recommend it because it's super dope. And we will talk about it when I make that video. And we will probably, I think, I think tomorrow, because today's Monday, tomorrow we should be getting our first arc armor piece. And if we do, I will make a video for that individually. I will, I will not wait all this time to make that individual set video. I'll make them individually. So that way you guys can see those videos, because again, I think it's a little ridiculous to wait that long for the arc video. So. <clears throat> I will explain that in the post that I would be posting, like probably right after this video or after I'm done making this video, I should say. So a lot of plans, a lot of plans. Don't forget. Also, remember, I have not forgotten about the exotics video. That's also something I'm going to talk about in the post because I think it's very important because I have not been doing the, the I have not been doing the exotic videos, but there's a good reason. There's just so much content that I've been working on that I just don't have time to like sit down and make a set for that, especially since the first one is such a terrible exotic. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Be safe. I appreciate y'all and I'll see you guys later.